guys welcome back to my channel i am c2 random so you want to date a gemini hmm dating a gemini can be quite the ride on one hand gemini's enjoy romance and all things sweet and serene all that mushy cuddling cute lovey dovey quiet night inside on the other hand they need stimulation and intellect and excitement all is a part of one embodiment of dating a Gemini. And if you can capture a Gemini's heart and love, consider yourself one of the lucky ones, okay? Because Gemini's, to be quite honest, they can be very hard. <laughs> they can be very complex and difficult to understand. Gemini's need constant, constant, consistent stimulation. They get really, really, really bored really, really easily. They are not gonna waste any, listen to me again, okay? Any, they're not gonna waste any time in any relationship if they don't feel like the thing is not going anywhere. If it ain't going nowhere, <laughs> you're gonna get kicked to the curb, okay? They don't have time for all of that. And they'll let you know, too. They can be deep in love with you one day. <laughs> deep in love, honey. They, they deep, they like all the way in. They hot, sweaty, passionate sex. And then the next day, they're completely uninterested, completely un unattracted to you, very detached, especially if it was a really, really overall bad experience, okay? Hence the twins, you know, you gotta be able to handle two people. You gotta be able to handle Jekyll and Hyde. Like, you really need to be able to deal with that. Geminis are the type of people who need to be pleasured and stimulated mentally first before anything can go down in the bedroom, okay? They need to be mind sexed, okay? And I completely agree and understand that thing when I say that. Moral of the story, don't be dumb. Be able to catch it, get it. You gotta be quick with it. You can't be slow-minded. Sometimes, like I was saying, sometimes dating a Gemini can literally be like dating a person that's on the episode of The Bachelor or, you know, Flavor of Love or any type of competitive relationships show. They need a lot of variety. They need to know if the partner is gonna be able to stimulate and please both sides of their personalities. And most Geminis are not gonna come out and just be honest and, and forward and say that, but that is the truth. And if you are a Gemini and you are watching this video and you have never really understood what the hell is going on with you, this this is it, this is why, because you are two people sometimes. You have a two, you have two, two sides of your personality and you need someone that's gonna be able to handle that. There are people that can handle that. There are people designed for you, astrologically designed for you. So they need all of the things in one to combine and be one. They need to be pleased mentally spiritually, sexually, it's all one big, huge, just box of pleasure that they need to be able to know. When you're dating a Gemini, be prepared to kind of date two people. A yin and yang, a day and night personality. And that's not bad, that's not a terrible thing, that's just who they are, they were designed that way. However, being on a date with a Gemini, because all of that is truly an unforgettable, unforgettable, amazing, adventurous experience that you will never forget. Once that dating and the beginning phase and that cupcake stage wears off, you need to be the kind of person who is prepared. If you are willing to take your relationship further, you need to be the kind of person that is prepared to handle each side of them. A great gift idea for a Gemini. They like personalized things, keepsakes, uh, memorabilia. They have a very sensitive and emotional and needy side. And those are the types of things that they like for that side. And for their intellectual side, because they are very intellectual, maybe books or, you know, going on a date to a museum or some kind of intellectual gift or something that is going to intrigue them intellectually. You have to be able to do both because it's not gonna work out 
if you didn't. Now you to watch this video and you already know what you need to do. So if you don't do it, I don't know what to tell you. So that you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to thumbs up. It really helps my channel out. And you know, y'all, our astrological DNA, our birth natal chart and the way you know we were born when we were born the time we were born the way the stars and moon and all of those things aligned together when we were born has everything to do with who we are who we like who we marry who we date what we eat everything so i said i really really suggest that you guys take some time and go to google and type in all of your information and put it into your natal chart so you can figure out who the hell you are okay so I hope to see you guys on the next video. Remember, there is no change without challenge. And I will see you guys again soon. Peace.